Bhrigu was one of the Saptarishis. He looked into the future and said, this is how human beings will be till the end of the world, he predicted. Is he talking about you? No. He is talking about humanity as to how it will evolve, what it will do. And if the many combinations and permutations, if they are this kind, what will come towards them? If they are that kind, what will come towards them? Like this, he wrote a map. I want you to see this as a sketch. Suppose you make a sketch of the movement of the wind. Here low pressure is happening means we know wind is going to go there. High pressure is happening means we know wind is going to go away from that. So he made a map of humanity. Human consciousness, if it's like this, he will move here, he will move into this kind of womb, he will attract these kind of things, this will happen, that will happen like this, elaborately he went into the whole thing. So, Brigu Samhita, this was called, this is a map of human consciousness till the end of this solar system. How human beings will evolve, what types of human beings will come, what are all the things which will factor. How to read this? He trained people. If an elaborate map is made of something, suppose you take a… even a… have you seen a topographical map? Not the regular map, have you seen the Geological Survey of India or the United States, uh, they have this thing up. Have you seen these maps? It will take a certain amount of training to read the map, it's all written there. Or have you seen the aeronautical maps? They're really complex, okay? If you… if you want to fly, from one part of the world to another, there is an aeronautical map. Unless you're well trained, I've gone through these exams and I've passed the exams, but I don't think I can navigate from here to let's say South America successfully because the planet is round, it's spinning, time zones are changing, all this is factored into the map. Somebody who knows how to read it, in two minutes he knows exactly what it is, coordinates, he will write and he knows where to go. Otherwise, if you don't know how to read it, you spend days with it, months with it, you do not know. So when he wrote this elaborate map of human consciousness, he trained people with a certain dimension of intuitiveness to read this because this was not all logical stuff. So these people maintained this tradition and came. And uh <laughs> it, uh, it doesn't matter how skeptical you are, what you are, they will say things in your face which will make you feel like an idiot, okay? <laughs> and it's true, unfortunately <laughs> You go sit there in front of Nadi Vaidya, first thing he'll shock you with is, as he said, he will tell you mother's name and father's name. You finished, you already floored <laughs> because you've gone from somewhere. It doesn't matter if you are from some other country, he will tell the first letter, he may not know that you are a Susanna or you are a Tanya, he may not know. He will say, your name starts with T. <coughs> Just like that. Because he is not looking at your background or your future, nothing. He is just reading a map. By reading the map, he is saying, okay, this is the temperature, this is the elevation, this is this, this is that. But it's an intuitive map. Unless he is in a certain state, he cannot do that. So always it should happen around the temple, where this wooden temple is made for this purpose and it generally happens around that. Now for commercial interest, they are moved everywhere. It may not be as effective, but there are some who are bang on. But if you are on the spiritual path, he will refuse to predict your future, if he's a genuine one, always. So if you go and if he tells your future, that means you're still not on. So, is destiny fixed? Destiny is not something that's fixed by somebody, it is your own karma. So your software is in a certain way, so naturally it will function that way. Suppose you have a certain type of software on your computer, whatever you do it will do the same thing, isn't it? But can I smash the computer and stop it? I can. But still, if you turn it on, 
the same hard drive, same thing will come on in a new computer. So, if you want, I'll tell you, if I tell you, you live for eighty and you jump off the mountain today, new computer will buy for you sometime later, but same hardware, same software rather, same thing will happen, nothing new. So, they're looking at that aspect of life and trying to interpret it in physical terms, which is an interpretation where there could be mistakes always. That interpretation may not always be right, but the reading, the fundamental reading, what is the altitude, what is this, what is that is correct. How to interpret it is the expertise of an individual person. Not everybody can interpret the same way. So this whole science developed Rigu Samhita, but if you're on the spiritual path, they'll refuse to say because no reading for you. You don't belong in that range.